Something that I don't do all that often, in fact I actually haven't had the time or been able to do it for a while, but it's actually one of my hobbies is archery. For a while, my son Leon wanted to get into it himself, yes. but it's just something we never did. Now, a few months ago, Leon had saved up his money, he had his birthday money, he had some jobs that he had worked for and he had earned up and he had saved up his money. He was going to buy himself a little toy archery set. Now whenever he got online and was deciding which one he wanted, the one he decided on was cheap, dingy, just not good quality at all. I mean, it was a toy. But this toy was $39. And I looked at him and I said, Leon, you wanted to get into archery, like real archery. You wanted to get yourself a real bow, didn't you? He goes, yeah. And I was like, I'll bet. I took you down to our local archery shop. It's not gonna be that cheap, but maybe for 20 or 30 bucks more, you could actually get yourself a real bow and arrow set. He said, okay. So I took him down there. And he walks in there with his wallet, sets it down on the countertop and says, I wanna get myself a bow. This is the uh, archery shop that we, we go to for my stuff. And uh, the owner's really awesome, really down to earth guy. He said, all right, good, sir. I think I got something for you. And he walks out, he comes out from behind the counter, and he tells us about this with a brand new kid's bow. And it's lower cost. It's only $50. And Leon, the first thing he says is he looks to me and he says, Mama, I only have, I only have $39. Do you have any other jobs that I can do to earn that little bit of extra money to make it to $50? And I smiled. I smiled because he didn't ask me for money. He asked me for more work to earn money. And I told him, I said, okay, well, you know what? Opa has that job where he wanted you to help him clean the pool. And that was gonna earn you 10 bucks. And he said, okay, all right, so that's 10 bucks. He says, but mama, that still only gives me $49. And the owner of the archery shop looked at him and said, you know what? You go do that job, get that extra $10, and I'll make sure you get that bow. And that made me smile. Like, he, he, saw that, he saw that Leon was actually trying to do good and work hard and save up his money to buy his first bow. So Leon, Leon smiled when he said that. He said, okay. So I took him and we went and he had his goal amount that he needed to get. He went, he did the little extra work here and there, ended up earning more than enough money to pay for it himself. And we go back and he says, all right, I'm ready to order. He said, all right, he placed the order and we were just waiting for it to come in. Now mind you, whenever he ordered this bow, Leon's favorite color is blue, but this bow came in red or green. And so Leon was like, okay, all right, we'll do green. That's close to blue, I like green. So he ordered a green one. And we go about our happy day, our happy, merry selves. Now, a few weeks go by and I get a call from the archery shop and he says, hey, unfortunately the green bows are on back order and it's gonna be a few months before they even come in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna order him the red one, but I've got a customization kit that I've got sitting here and I'm gonna customize it and make it a blue one for him, make it real nice and special for him. And I said, that would be amazing. Okay, you just tell me what you need. Just let me know if you need me to do anything. And he said, no, nah, I'm going to take care of it. I'm going to make sure this boy's set up real good. So I let him do his thing. A couple weeks go by. He lets me know the bow is ready today. Leon doesn't know yet of all the special things that he's done, but I can't wait for him to see. So this is uh, where the chickens were situated on their chicken tractor. And we moved them. We took the chance since we were bringing them back. We moved them over to fresh grass so they can start breaking that down because this, this is actually going to be a section of my future garden. It got that nice and down and now that they are out and it's drying out, they're starting to scratch at it and till it up now. See how Speckle over there is starting to scratch it up and she's eating the bugs. 
And so what I gotta do is on my list of things that I wanna get is I wanna get a broad fork so I can come out here and lift that soil up and aerate it because this has not been disturbed for many, 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 many years. So, but I think we're gonna have a very fertile garden. I'm excited. That is an excellent sign. That means that this survived. We have a mulberry tree, Leon! Baby! Yay! Uh, so as you can see, this, uh, it's tall. I am about five foot, a little over about five foot two inches. I'm about five two. And so I am just short of half of this tree. So this tree is at least 10 feet tall when we had transplanted it from a It's always risky, especially with a tree of this size, and it was like over an hour of transport time. Um, we did our best to keep the roots moist, and I planted them immediately, and it took, it took. We are on our way now to go and get Leon. Hey, <laughs> he is super excited about this. We've been waiting for a while now, but feel like it's gonna be well worth the wait. Hey, hey! Hi! Well, why don't you ask her? Do you want to know where my goal is? Hi! What's up, buddy? How are you? I'm doing good. All right, all right. Uh, I worked really hard at this, trying to do the best I could for you, pal. Really wanted to give you something kind of blue. Yeah, remember they, they only had them in black and red? Yep. So you tell me what you uh, think about that. All right. Oh, thank you. Yes, sir. You got it? Yeah. All right. Look at that. That looks <laughs> awesome. That looks amazing. I had an old blue kit and we tried to put everything together the best we could. It's, it's, it's a plastic riser. Yeah. Right, and work with a couple of yeah. We were able to get him that uh, whisker biscuit on there so it would hold the air a little better than the, okay. the plastic one they had. Right. Okay. And we cool. Get that on. And uh, we got him some arrows for him. We even fletched him up the blue color. So oh, wow. So this little single pin deal right here, this is good for him to start with. I didn't want to put a peep in the string yet until he was able to kind of get an idea of putting that on the target first. Right, get right. an understanding how to shoot it. Then we can always advance him little by little once he gets really comfortable. Yeah, yeah, so, I got you. Yeah. What do you say? Thank you. You're welcome, buddy. One above, one below, two below. Now, Leon, you're going like this. I want you to bring your shoulders back yep. and good shoulder stance. Shoulder straight. Power stance. There you go, shoulder straight, back straight. Don't don't lean this on your, you see how this is touching you? Ah, see, there you go. You don't want this to touch you. You hold it out, okay? You're gonna need some there arm strength. There you go. This. Keep your elbow up like this, okay? You want to bring that hand to here. That's about where you want that hand to go. You want it right next to your face. Whenever I try to bring it back, it shot. That's okay. Just keep practice. So I practice. Straight out. Then you're gonna take this and pull straight back. Okay. Okay. So you want to pull it back to where your hand is next to your cheek. But not touching. But not touching. Just, just next to your cheek. Right. Now remember, make sure your hand up here is all the way. All the way up. There you go. Now push this straight out. There you go. Now keep your elbow up and pull that straight back. And then use the dot. Okay. okay. Your elbow up. Back straight. Back straight. Elbow up. Good. 
Oh, elbow up. Got to keep that up. Straight out. Elbow, elbow up, not too far up. Not too far up. There you go. There you go. And then use your dot. Don't worry about where the arrow, don't worry about what the arrow looks like. Just use that dot, okay? You don't want to hold it back too long. Good job. Go. Yeah. Remember, aim first, then pull back. There you go. Keep your elbow up. Nice form. Good job, back straight. Good, Good. job, uh, buddy! Four in a oh, row! row. <laughs> Just four in a row! How many do you want me to get? You can shoot as long as you want or whenever you're you're ready, buddy. We just wanted to see if you could shoot it, okay? Yeah, my arm is good. Yeah, it's gonna build up some strength in your arms, buddy. That's good. Okay. Anytime you like, buddy, okay? okay? You just let me know because you need to you can't do it without one of us out here. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Yeah. Go get your arrow. <laughs>